Welcome everyone. This is going to be the first episode of our Dokimon series. Not Pokemon, but Dokimon. I'm totally not ripping off Pokemon at all, but, and my game is totally not called Pokemon Reference. It is Dokimon. So this is the game we're going to be making. As you can see, we have a little Pokemon following our character. I mean, sorry, I mean Dokimon. And we're going to have to find one randomly. Yeah, there it is. So we have random areas that spawn. We can randomly spawn in a monster or a purple mon in this case. We can fight. We can hit him. A little animation pops up. The pur purple mon will attack us back and then we can also capture it. So we can capture the purple mon. And so the battle ends and here we can see our uh, inventory per se. And now we have three Pokemon or Dokimon, my bad. Now I can also switch. So I should be able to go into here and switch and so i can switch to one of the purple mon i have for example and yeah so let's get right into the video um uh, lastly you can also flee if you'd like to do that as well and that's it so let's get right into the tutorial guys so in this video we're going to be going through um starting our tile set so i'm going to quickly download all the assets we need and if you guys want them they will be in the um, Discord. So here you can see it in the help section on the left. I've added them into the Dokimon course help section. So if I've pinned it on the, in the chat, so if you want all the assets, you can go download them here. So I'll be using mainly these three assets. Uh, the Dokimon asset has its own font in it. So we're going to use that one, but you can also download this font. So go download those and I will do that and I'll be right back. All right. So the first thing I want you guys to do is create a node and save it as world. So if you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is go to 2D scene and save control S and just save it as whatever you'd like. And I have already done that. So I'm going to go back to my world. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tile map. So we're going to set up the auto tiling and the tile map itself. So let's go to the top right where it says tile set, go to new tile set. And then we're going to go to the tile set on the bottom of the screen. So here we have tile map and tile set. We want to go to tile set. Now tile set is where we do all the editing of a tile set that we actually have. And tile map is where we actually put the tiles onto our game. So we're going to go to the tile set and we're going to take our sheet that we downloaded and put it in. And it's going to automatically create the tiles and we're just going to say yes. Now here we can zoom in and we can see the tiles that we want to use. Now, in order to, let's go through actually putting these tiles down ourselves. Now, as I said, we can do this in tile map. So I can select a tile and just start drawing, right? But that, as you can see, it's kind of inefficient because I'd have to do each thing one by one. Now, what we can do instead is we can go to the top right where it says tile set. We can go to physics layer. We can go to terrain sets, navigation layers, and a bunch of other things. Now we want to go to terrain sets. Terrain sets will allow us to actually create the auto tiling. So let's create a new element, create a new element. And then we're going to create this guy, which is going to be ground. We'll name that ground. And then we'll go to, where's the layers? I think it's this one. Nope. We want to add layers by I think it might be physics layers, is it? No, it's on the bottom. Aha, there it is. Because we want to add two layers. So let's go over here to the bottom and see the layer. So this will name it grass. And then the actual will create another layer. This one will be ground. Or dirt, actually. Let's rename this to dirt. Now what we want to do is we're going to take these two grass tiles and we're going to zoom out a little bit, select the rectangle right here or R, and we're going to draw a rectangle. Now let's actually zoom out a lot more and basically draw a giant rectangle of grass. That will allow us to create a big area of grass. And see here we had the grass tile or layer selected. Now we want to draw on the ground or dirt tile. Okay, so this is a layer on top of the grass that won't affect the grass itself. Right. So let's control Z that and actually set up our auto tiling. So let's go to the tile set and inside of our tile set, in order to edit the tiles themselves, we go to paint. It says paint properties. Now we'll select the terrains. We'll go to terrain set zero terrain ground. And now we select the ones that we need. 
Now, the way I will do my best to explain how auto tiling works because it can be a bit odd, if that makes sense. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is select the, the ones that we are actually going to be using. So this is pretty obvious by the fact that there's only a few ground ones, which are these ones, right? So anything with a sort of ground tile in it, we're going to want to use. Okay, now for the auto tiling, the way we have it is a three by three grid. We have a three by three grid that covers the entire thing. Now, how does that three by three grid work? Basically, it allows the engine to check if something is next to one another. So for example, if I have a tile here, like this uh, color here, and I have another one here, the engine itself will put these two tiles together. Okay, now if I have like this, this, the engine will essentially put this tile, so I also cover the middle. I don't know if you actually have to, but we're going to anyways. The engine will essentially check to see if there is collision all alongside the edges and sides of this tile. So if there's like this, right, it will put this middle tile in the middle of it, right? Now this tile, for example, it will only put this tile in the corner if there's only two things touching that corner, right? Meaning these two. Now this is really easily set up already for us, as we can see, there's a little bit more, right? So how does this one work? Well, um, this one works by going like this. We only want to set up these if, it, if there's anything on the edges of this one. So that's how we set up the auto tiling. So now let's actually see if this works. Let's go to our tile map on the bottom. Let's go to terrains, select the ground. And now what we can do is we can start drawing some rectangles. And as you can see, our auto tiling works pretty nicely. So let's actually start drawing a little bit and be a little creative with this. And hopefully our tile mess, auto tile doesn't get messed up. So let's just be a little creative and just kind of start drawing some patches. And that go down and right, etc. All that kind of stuff. And I want you to be creative and kind of create the world that you want to make. So be creative with this. And I will, I will hope you pause the video or stop the video or end the video or finish watching the video because we're almost done and just draw the world that you would like to do. So from here, we're going to actually be doing the player in the next video, but this is the tile map set up. So we now have the tile map set up and I don't think there's anything else. We, no, actually we don't want, oh, I swear, that doesn't matter. However, I will say one more thing. Um, you can also add some, boom, 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 what are they called? Um, individual tiles. So we can add these individual tiles, maybe to our grass, honestly, if you want. So we can add, start adding these to our grass and start adding individual tiles as you please. This one might want to have to go on the dirt, but that's okay. But this one will have to not hit the dirt. So for this, honestly, I would recommend making a third layer but I'm a little too lazy for that and I'm just gonna do it like this. And actually, let's play now and look at what we have. Let's select our world and play the scene. And now we have this nice little world. Awesome. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoy this video, subscribe and um, wait for part two. Part two will be the player movement and I think we will also be starting off with our battle scenes. So definitely um, subscribe and check that out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.